Yeah, it was really a coincidence when I started. I was at that time uh, working with uh, long distance running and I was collecting sponsors for the club in the area around Stavanger and I got into a trainer, a coach that saw my bike because there was a bike that I used to go to university in Stavanger and he said, ah, you should come and join us for a off road training here in Stavanger. There is a like a little forest, we, they did training. And I said, yeah, why not? At that time, I did a lot of different sports when I grew up, running and soccer and swimming and horse riding and uh, motor racing and skiing. So I was into a lot of things, like to be or use my body. And then I met the guys, they were going to do intervals up this climb and they probably did three times the intervals when I did one because I, have a, I had a heavy bike, I had running shoes on, I had no uh, bike shoes, nothing. And then they showed me the, the single trail to go back down to start the interval again. And I think I just remember it was very difficult but I was so high and so full of adrenaline when I got back that I said, oh, I love this. And that was kind of getting that, like hit by the sport from the first second off-road. So that's how it all started. I think the bike we, I had a DBS Intruder, a brown bike back in 95. I was borrowing that from the cycling club back home. And I don't think I would dare racing here with that. I wouldn't even be able to do uh, one lap without getting off the bike or flying off the bike uh, because just the, the brakes okay there's the smaller wheels that's one thing um, but the brakes I, you wouldn't have the feeling of is it braking or not because it was another world than it is now uh, and imagine also sitting I think I had handlebars that were 42 now we are up to 70 68 70 some are even wider so um, big difference. We had long stem, one, 120, now we are down to 60 or 70. So, so many big difference. Uh, since I live on the west coast of Norway with the Gulf Stream, we don't have much snow, like maybe for two, three, four days, you have to go up in the mountains. And since I did a lot of different sport, I always worked during my studying. I had no time for that, to drive for one or two hours up in the mountains and do cross-country skiing. Of course, I did it when I grew up a little bit, when we had snow, but it was no like compet competition level, nothing. And I also did the downhill skiing and slalom and these things, but really just for fun. Of course, now when they say I'm getting older and older, I don't believe them, but they, it's the part that you realize um, that it's becoming more and more fun in all kinds of ways. I think you are more aware of that you are doing a fantastic sport that most people can enjoy on their own level. So I, if you look back 10 years, 15 ba years back, I think I have more fun than ever. And I know I can do this for the rest of my life. It's a lifestyle. And I think even though you stop racing on top level like as a professional, you can still go out there and, and race, but just for fun. And you can do that over, all over the world the whole year round if you want. So it's a fantastic sport that you can enjoy yourself, but also together with friends and family and other passionate mountain bikers. Yeah, it's a tricky question since now I'm kind of getting into or in the sea last season with cross country, at least for the World Cup uh, thing. And I'm more and more focused on this thing, being out there, being visible, being together with mountain bikers, like fun or um, this not the elite kind of the sport uh, so, so I believe also I have more this kind of um, magnet to get, getting up in the mountains and just ride for hours just enjoy beautiful nature and challenge yourself feel the, the, the strain on your body get exhausted like crazy but so I believe my focus is more and more that mountain biking is getting out in the mountains and the wilderness and beautiful nature and that means more marathon racing but of course I have done this because I loved it for more than 20 years and that is mainly cross-country <laughs>